Hi everybody, so we're back with another installment of story time. And um, if you don't know what story time is, that's when I read you pieces or um, snippets of a piece from my spoken word book, Life Out Spoken, which you can find the link in my bio on Amazon, okay? And if you have been missing it, this is, um, we're doing the seven layers of transformation based, themed off of the chapters in my book. Because those chapters or those themes actually in real time take you through layers of transformation. We started with identity and now we're in girl in a woman's world, which can also be boy in a woman's world. And it's about being a parent at a young age or just surviving, you know, just surviving out here, pushing through. That all the content within this layer has been about redemption and pushing through things, self-understanding and self-reflection. Okay, so today I'm going to go straight into the poem and then we'll talk more after, right? So this piece that I'm going to be spitting from, I'm not, I'm not spitting the whole piece, but um, I'll spit the beginning of it and it's called I Feel You. I want to actually read the introduction to it as well. It says, you can't help anyone else or yourself until you can accept and own your truth. And then in that moment, you can relate with others, share wisdom, and stand for something. So this is all about relating with someone else and not being ashamed of your own, your own truth or your own um, process. And um, instead of judging, saying, I feel you, you know, because you've been there, right? So that's what this is about. This is what I'm giving whoever is reading this. I'm just letting you know I feel you because I've been there. And this is for um, young, young mothers. So, I feel you. This is for the girl struggling in a woman's world. Calling herself playing big girl behind closed doors. Now her mother's calling her whore. Pushing her to make a sacrifice to save her life. But she chose life. Rubbing her stomach like I love it more. I'd give up everything I received, something to die for. But she let those honorable words leave her muzzle before she ever had to even define the word struggle. This is for the woman bringing dope to the pen. Then they yelling she's not worthy of raising her kids. But what they don't know is she slit her own throat before she ever let them go without because of her ends. We point and yell at those lurking in the darkness. But I'd be fake if I didn't say my life wasn't once held by the same harness. So before I let them cast stones, as if to attempt to break or kill you, I have to stand in stone with honesty and say, I feel you, I feel you, I, I, I feel you. So just in that beginning, before I, it even gets deeper, what I want, who I want to speak to, and what I want to create understanding of. And this is for the girl living in a woman's world. When you decide to have a child, um, that's for the rest of your life. And I'm not saying go get abortions. What I'm saying is we have to be responsible. Because you don't understand until you're in that position what it means to be responsible for another human being. Until they can be responsible for themselves. Especially if you don't even know how to be responsible for yourself yet. <laughs> and sometimes we think we're grown. And we don't find out that we're not grown. Until it's time to be grown. <laughs> but we want to do grown things. That puts us in positions to be tested. Of where we're at in that growth. <laughs> I feel like I should ask, can I get an Amen. <laughs> But for those girls that are in those positions and you did choose life and I'm not judging you because I've been there, it's okay. Push through. Your child is going to be okay. You're going to be okay on those hard days that you didn't have no idea that was going to happen. Because there's so many good days. There's so, many joy, so much joy. There's so much laughter. It's such amazing watching your child grow up. So you didn't make a bad decision, but you did make a hard one if you're young. And knowing the prices and how things are out here, how the the society is, how they try to condition your child, how they can try to condition you. So raising a child is not easy. It's 
especially in this day and time. But I'm sure in other days and time, it said the same thing. So, hey, it's your day and time. <laughs> and to that woman that's hustling, because maybe you couldn't get a job right now. Maybe they're just not hitting you back. Maybe it's not enough. And they're saying, they're trying to take your, your, your freedom away. Or they're trying to say you're not a good mother because of how you make your money or how you take care and how you provide. Because it's, someone, it's not another person there to help you provide. Do what you got to do, baby. I'm not going to judge you. Do what you got to do, baby. You take care of your child. And you don't stay in that space. Don't stay in that space. That's the thing. It's not what you had to do that makes you you. It's what you keep doing. It's what you dwell in. It's what you make a part of you forever. It's okay to do what you got to do in the moment to get to some, to the next step. You got to hustle, get to the next step, then make it do what it do. But don't stay there. Don't have your freedom be taken away. Don't have your integrity and your dignity be taken away. To where your child cannot respect you or not have you in their life. Because then what's the point? But don't allow other people that's throwing stones and pebbles because you straight up and down with yours affect your insides and your heart space because you're just trying to love and take care of your child. Don't you let them get to you. Because if, if, they put, if you put a mirror to them and they had to actually show their truth, they wouldn't be able to throw a stone. So this message is for that person that understands that they needed that. Because it was a time and place where I needed to hear that. Okay? I love you. Just for being you. And for being strong. And keeping a smile on your face. And making your child feel like they're not missing nothing. And they don't even know that you're struggling sometimes. You're a good mom. Alright? It's okay. Peace and love. Time to be a woman, baby. <laughs>